All right, I'm back. Back from that gaming session, which was, it was okay. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just hanging out. <sighs> you know, I'm surprised that East Origin game, it's a two hour long run, it's like surprising. And it looks like people are not uh, running it recently. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, my day is pretty neutral. Neutral day. I got a bit of sun on my face today, which is nice. But, uh... Yeah, I'm not doing so much. Spent some time looking for a game to play. I found East Origin and uh, played it for a bit. It's okay. But uh, it also made me very tired. And um, honestly, I'm kind of just tired and cuddly. But my bed is empty. <laughs> empty bed. Um, I don't read Berserk. I just liked the original anime. was playing East Origin, but uh, I got sleepy. I got tired. <laughs> it's like it expends energy to play games, at least games I'm not familiar with. And uh, I guess I'm trying to conserve my energy or something. Would ever go back to Castlevania 64? Well, um, well, maybe not because even though my run can still be improved by more than 20 seconds, it just started to feel more frustrating than fun to play maybe. Like, the left tower skip requires this perfect joystick angle, and just resetting for it feels frustrating. Um, greetings, hello everyone.
Yeah. Does the game didn't work? No, it's a it's a fine game, I think. It's a little weird with the zip glitches. Uh that's a bit weird. I mean, like, the five-minute intro is kind of annoying, I guess, if you're gonna run it. But the game itself seems okay. It seems okay. I just, uh, I just get sleepy. I get tired. I get tired. Why do I get tired? I don't know. But I do. I don't really know, like, well, ideally it would, it would do the opposite of make me tired, right? It would, like, invigorate me and make me alive or something, but, uh, no, I felt kind of tired and cuddly, actually. Tired and cuddly, that's how I feel. It seems much more uh, appealing than playing a game, honestly. But, uh. Thoughts on creating an OnlyFans? I don't know. I'm just like... Panagiotis. I'm just like, I'm just like sleepy and not wanting to game, I think, honestly. GFE Girlfriend experience being like an open source girlfriend I'm just kind of like waiting around. I'm like waiting around. That's what I'm doing.
As for what I've been watching lately, I've been watching Azumanga Dayo, <laughs> which is actually, uh, that's pretty, it's, uh, it's good, I don't know. Waiting for Godot. Never, never read it. I'm kind of interested in Godot Engine. But at the same time, um, well, I wonder if the game, I wonder if that game made me tired because of lack of familiarity. And then if I was creating something, perhaps I would be, uh, Uh, I'd be familiar with my own creation and then maybe have fun. The idea of being creative still appeals to me. Like, I was drawing, like, a little map on a piece of paper. Have I heard from my waifu yet? Uh, not lately. I wish, uh, I wish I did, though. I do wish I did. Where's the need to broadcast myself so often come from? I don't know, this is just what I've done. This is just what I've been doing, I guess. Um, I definitely shaved. <laughs> I just didn't, you know, I don't put on any makeup or anything, so, you know. No, it's pretty much, it's shaved. Just maybe parts of it might look a tiny bit, uh, like a tiny bit of, uh, you know. Ugh, I didn't forget to shave. I still get some facial hair, it's not all gone. But uh, I've been trying to remove it slowly. Uh, well, ironically, I kind of feel like an introvert too. It's just, uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. All the various forms of uh. In various forms of, uh, yeah, let me get some light. I think I can get some extra light on my face, but like this, maybe. I don't know. I need to buy a new pajama pants. <laughs> These are like falling apart. <sighs> Smart people rather stay alone, you say? Lonely life. Lonely life, I don't know. Why am I famous again? Uh, 10 years ago, I guess, I had a popular Twitch stream because of Zelda speedrunning, but that was 10 years ago, so uh, I'm just a person on the internet, <laughs> that's all I am. Uh, no, Jeroen. Well, sometimes I do squats and stuff, and you know, uh, leg related exercise. Yeah, it's been about um, four months. It's been like four months since I uh, last saw my waifu. <laughs> now I'm just waiting around. 
don't know. I don't know. I'm not excited for any upcoming games. I'm not really excited. There's some stuff I'm like curious about maybe. Maybe. But the stuff I'm curious about, it's all that high production value stuff that ends up probably being sluggish on my PC. So, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, don't really know, Seth. I guess I try to get into new hobbies and stuff, but the best thing going on for me probably is the book club where I was doing the Harry Potter readings. That was probably the best thing going on. I just haven't done it in a couple days. And I haven't felt like being on social media. And. I seem to just enjoy doing these like aimless talk streams. They're kind of fun to me. My art. Sometimes if I try hard with art, I can do something cool, but. It was very cuddly, like right before I started this stream. <laughs> it was a strong instinct inside of me. <laughs> it's like so much more appealing than playing games, I guess. To me it is. But I also still kind of miss Smash Ultimate. I kind of miss it. I miss playing it, I think. Teach us how to use Godot. Well, the thing is, like, as far as like organizing a project in Godot, I don't think I'm that great at it, and I'm still kind of waiting for Godot four. And perhaps the new tile map stuff in Godot four would be fun to use. I don't know, but I'd have to learn that, and I'd be new. Also, everyone who's gonna be a troll piece of shit is just gonna get permanently banned. So you can uh, you can just not post anymore ever. <laughs> permanently banned. Yep, you're gone too. Permanently gone. I don't even like permanent bans, but you know, there's just no good option. Like. We need a new platform, I think. Too bad Google has like the monopoly on like video hosting kind of. <laughs> so yeah. None of the platforms are adequate. Get out as a game engine. It's okay. It's decent. It's fun to play around in or er, it kind of has been. I would go for a walk today, I sure did. I, I sure did. Uh, I personally don't see the relation, Yasmin. <laughs> I don't see the connection there.
My problem with YouTube is mainly the chat. And, I don't know. I don't know. YouTube does a pretty good job of keeping all my videos up, though. They do a pretty damn good job at that. So, I can't complain too much, I guess. Oh yeah, there is a banned word option, but it's not... I can just... whatever. I'll just ban as it comes, whatever. Yeah, everyone uh, obsesses over the transgender aspect of me instead of anything else. So they just talk about things like, do I have a penis or not? Well, that's pretty uh, annoying that we can't just talk about like other shit, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> This language, like chuds, it's like the stupid term that <sighs> it's just like I, I wish I was just somewhere totally different, like it's a whole different world, you know, just so far away, so so far away from from where uh, from where we are now. Like the Lego Harry Potter game, never played it. Not too interested in games, apparently. Apparently games make me tired. They make me sleepy. I doubt I'll ever be in space. Although going to the moon might be kinda cool. Where would I like to be? Whoops, we just lost the camera. Look at that. That's epic. Alright, give me a second. I don't know. It just feels like a lot of people just have this uh, meme virus running through their mind and they just they uh Play some Smash. I mean, I miss Smash Ultimate. I wish I could play it right now. Uh, ideally, I would have another monitor and a capture card. I'm not even streaming games, really. I'm just talking on stream. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing out here. But yeah, um, I do miss Smash Ultimate. Uh, I don't really follow it, uh, Jeroen. I don't know. I'm not too interested in space, I guess. I mean, zero gravity is cool, right? But I don't know. The rest of it. The rest of it is just kind of whatever. <laughs> mm. I mean, I feel like we're going to use outer space so we can basically do the Starlink internet shit and then also send stuff out to collect materials, right? And I guess set up places to live elsewhere too. But now that slingshot thing, yeah, I did see that for a minute. 
I don't know much about it, honestly. I speak on what I think the source of identity is. Um, everyone's unique experience in life is uh, formative of that, I guess. I mean, it is a lot of a lot of stuff that humanity has created is pretty amazing. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty amazing what has been accomplished. Um, what's the point of a green screen? I don't mind not having a green screen. Uh, color tree, I guess that's the idea of being somebody. And, uh, I don't know. A lot of people like to be anonymous though too, and it can, it can, uh, anonymous environments can kind of be, uh, good also. Am I aware of King Cobra? Uh, yeah, I was in contact with somebody who is a fan of King Cobra, so I became aware. Well, I am pretty lonely, Adam. I will not deny I am very lonely. Do I have any tattoos or piercings? Nope. I had thought about a tattoo this year, but I did not do anything. Just another idea floating around. Have I tried VR chat with a f headset and full body trackers? No. I wonder how that would feel. Why do we need to be somebody? Um, I don't know. I thought I would go for having an identity because Because that would, uh, I could get into my whole life philosophy shit, but I almost don't even want to talk about it. Have I tried therapy? No, I have not. Well, once I talked to someone uh, some years ago, but it felt like kind of a waste of time. It wasn't like proper therapy, though. But, uh... Do I have IRL friends? No, I do not. I'm just a very solo life right now. I don't want it to be a solo life, but uh, I don't know. I'm just waiting around. Identity is the most important thing a human can understand. I guess with me, my uh, identity can be well. There's so much. There's so uh, there's like many Im impressions and like like little pieces that have been uploaded that people can like pull it apart in different ways and. Uh, make different characters out of me, right? 
like that documentary that Tim just mentioned is one example of uh, someone pulling in a direction, right? So there's various directions. You can pull me apart in different ways of viewing me and lenses to view me through what, you know, lenses through which to view me. Sort of felt like uh, it's it sort of feels like it's easy to uh, come apart because unless you are like a consistent um, I don't know I feel like this consistent thing that doesn't screw up ever then it's almost inhuman or post-human to like be so perfect or whatever I don't know I'm not very perfect but I Yeah, I don't know. Integration? Yeah. I just have, I don't know, there's just vague thoughts there about, um, yeah, some stuff you want to, like, not get subjugated by, and other things you want to, like, integ integrate, I think. So, you just kind of navigate that, I guess. Uh, I think I saw a tweet from Vitalik Buterin just recently talking about how do we make the internet where uh, the attention doesn't come from someone like, oh, uh, what was it? It was like, what if someone got attention for doing great and amazing things instead of for doing like bad things or whatever or something? Shit, what was the exact wording on that tweet? I could look it up. How do we create a culture where it's harder to set or become the topic of public conversation by doing something terrible and easier to do so by doing something great? So this is about like social media dynamics and bullying and, uh, and uh, bullying culture or something like that, maybe? I mean, the fir when I first read this, I had a very cynical take or something where it's like, yeah, it's like, uh, good luck, like, good fucking luck, right? But, uh, it's an interesting tweet regardless, I think. I think it's an interesting tweet regardless. YouTube blocks messages like that, I think. Um, I'm just chatting on stream right now. Do I still stream games? I was just playing East Origin, which was okay, but I, it made me very sleepy. So, you know, games making me tired. I think ideally, a game would make me the opposite of tired. It would like, invigorate me, right? But, um... But it doesn't... really. 
Dating sites, I'm not interested in those. I've never used Tinder and Grinder or any of that. Or OkCupid or whatever, never used any of them. Um, inscription. Occasionally, <laughs> on and off cycles, I guess. I'm doing okay. I would say I'm doing okay. It's just uh, a little bit boring, a little bit lonely, something like that. Memeticism. Uh. Sure. edgy and annoying. I don't know. Don't know what to do. Maybe tomorrow I'll bring back the book club. Because, uh. On something. Something kind of fun to do, right? I do have fun reading it. Yeah, I'm just sleepy and bored and lonely. After everything I went through to get to East Origin, I just like, I'm just like not looking for games to play. I think that's what I realized. I'm not looking for video games. Like I just get tired. They're just, ti they just make me tired and sleepy.
Yeah, I'll probably bring back the book club tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> Cha ching. <laughs> yeah, I don't have much going on, honestly. I'm just, uh, I'm living a very humble life, staying alive, just, uh, very simple life. I eat food, I go for walks, I sleep, and I, I guess I hang out on the stream but I don't really do much. You will never speak in my chat again. Is there anything worth speedrunning? I can't find anything worth speedrunning. <laughs> I looked, you know, looking. It's just not worth it. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, Smash Ultimate would be kind of fun to play. Too bad I don't have a capture card or another monitor. chat permanently. You had to learn what the hard way, sorry? What did you have to learn the hard way? See, I would rather not. I would rather not live alone. I would rather uh, be together. I would. I would.
Curse of the Dead Gods. Let's take a look at this. I mean, I don't mind looking up random games, but uh, whenever I play games, I just get tired. Like, I just get really sleepy. That sucks, uh, Daemonus TV. <laughs> yeah, that seems relatable. Being alone somewhere where I don't know anyone. That's like my life right now. I do wish, uh, I do wish my life was a little bit more, uh, interesting, I guess. You know, I, I don't know where you're trying to go with this color tree, like, uh, like, I don't know. If you're trans in 15, then you should feel you have an advantage because you can uh, <laughs> avoid, avoid the original puberty changing your body too much. Which results in a better, uh, you know. Anyway, what's up? Most humans are annoying as fuck. Maybe. Unfortunate. <laughs> it's unfortunate. It shouldn't be that way, should it? I don't think it should be that way. Am I gonna do a speedrun? No. Are you? <laughs> I'm not. Maybe. Maybe trolling, who knows? I'm not here to uh, really talk about that, honestly. Semi spicy. Um,
I'm more than my thoughts and beliefs than what other people think of me and what other people think I am. Um, well, I don't know what I am in terms of uh, being more or whatever because Like I said, I'm I'm not doing a whole lot, right? My life's pretty simple. I've had no surgery since everyone seems to want to know. No surgery. Uh, this is so troll shit, man. Total trash conversation. Shirt, yeah, this shirt. <laughs> Wrap in the black dresses shirt. Are you saying I have no right to stream because um, some internet shithole likes to post my stream, so therefore I shouldn't ever stream? That's like shit logic. Just some bullshit logic. I don't know, my chat is just a box of madness. <laughs> just a box of fucking madness.
not a whole lot's happening. <laughs> Sobriety is extremely heavy. Maybe. Maybe it is. Haven't drank alcohol in a while. There's so many people who have been like brainwashed by the fucking internet. Ugh. Damn. It's unbelievable. I mean, the, the internet's a fucking shithole, <laughs> is it not? Is it not just a total shithole? Look at this, the internet's a fucking shithole. I've not been up to much, haven't been doing too much. Sometimes I spend a few hours looking up games and then uh, not really finding a reason to play them or if I do play I just get tired. It's not very fun, I guess. <laughs> Sonic Robo Blast 2. I uh... I saw a bit of that game. I don't know. Yeah, I've been kind of messing with RPGs a bit. Yeah, I'm just on YouTube, only YouTube. Create, yeah, creating stuff. Um, that's like why game development always seems kind of appealing, even though I never have like a like a solid enough um, like motivational springboard to like uh, like set up the basic uh, concepts or whatever, like. Uh, There's something always appealing about creation, I think. It's just I haven't, uh, I feel like my stream, I just like kind of stream. It's kind of what I'm doing. But, uh, I do see the, I do see the goodness of creativity. It's just, uh, I'm just kind of creating streams, I guess, which is maybe not as creative, but it's still something, right? I don't know, Elden Ring, um, I don't know. Playing games is passive. Um, Speedrun is inching towards art. Um, it's like this optimization process that is often not very artistic, actually. Maybe that's like the thing about games is that uh, they're not very expressive for the player often. I think you want a game that's expressive, but it's hard to make, like, there's this cold truth of optimization, kind of. Sometimes you get this intermingling between expressiveness and, uh, and, like, results. You can kind of find that a bit in, like, fighting games and, and some other competitive games. Sometimes there's a something there where if the game's really well designed, you do get some uh, expressiveness uh, balanced in there, which feels kind of satisfying, I guess. It's also kind of why I miss Smash Ultimate, because I think um, it's something I could play without just feeling sleepy.
Can I capture my feelings into a physical or digital form? Um. Yeah, yeah. Although in this case, it's through my speaking and expression coming through on the stream. That's like where you get the uh, digital capture of the feeling. But I think you're talking about it in more an abstract way. Yep. So how are we doing? Indeed. Um, at one point I was rolling cow, I'm not at the moment. I experiment a bit, you know? I'm inspired during the conversation, learning new things about myself. Then, kind of bored, a bit bored, I think. Yeah, Crinkle, that idea used to appeal to me, but uh. I don't know. Yep, I am still alive. What's up? No, nah, no thanks, blah blah blah. Create something I can evolve, like, sounds like a game dev project again, once again. It always goes back to that, even though games make me tired and I don't have a lot of fun. I don't know why it's like this paradox or whatever. <sighs> Paintings, yeah, I mean, images, I can kind of do images. Hello creep, hello band. Game dev is kind of hard actually, it's pretty hard. It's hard to organize everything and it's also hard to uh, stick with it. And there are a lot of aspects of it that are challenging. But I don't think programming itself is is that uh, hard. It's just the, the larger organization and also 
I don't know. The end result, like, uh, it's just hard to make something fun, you know? Um, farewell, truth seeking. <laughs> What makeup do I use? I use a snap camera. I could get into learning shader code and make a bajillion bucks a year. Well, actually, I've already written shader code. And I've actually written some pretty interesting shader code. Uh, I've actually wrote shader code in which, as you walk across a map, uh, sections of 3D space are represented in a two-dimensional image and data is written to the two-dimensional image which is then passed into the GPU, into the shader, and then that that uh, that image then gets like uh, reinterpreted in the sh inside the shader to determine whether the ground should be dirt or grass. Um, it was pretty complicated actually. It felt very hacky because it was uh, uh, trying to figure out how to send data into the shader in a way that is uh, kind of not intended, right? It's kind of hacky. It's kind of interesting, right? It was like an interesting uh, experiment with uh, data and shader code. It took me quite a while to get it working. And uh, um, yeah, it's pretty challenging. But the way I did it, uh, I wasn't, uh, I mean, it, it worked, it did work. Like you could, you could run in circles on the grass and it would slowly turn into dirt. It would turn, it turned the grass into dirt as you run around, as if you're trampling the grass. Cause I liked the idea of desire paths, which is this concept of, um, you know, when humans want to walk, in like a beeline to where they're going and they walk across the grass and it starts to wear away the grass and you can see see the path that forms from all the walking. Uh, the idea of leaving an imprint, right? Uh, the concept of imprints, that's the kind of stuff um, that I found kind of interesting. So when I was doing game dev projects, it was not so much a game, but more so this sort of like desire path simulation thing, which I thought was kind of interesting. But yeah, there wasn't enough game there, and uh, I eventually lost interest in working on it. But it was pretty involved. Um, it was pretty involved to get it to work. Like, I still have the, uh, you know, the code is pretty, uh, I can open it right now and look at the code, right? It was pretty, there's a lot going on. Um, let's see. Where did I put that? I haven't opened this project in a while. I need to remember. I need to, uh, oh, here we go. All right, this is the mesh of the ground. And then if I open the, oh, these are the, I see, okay, wait, uh, uh where is it? Open this. Okay, here's the mesh. Here's the material. Here's the s here's the grass surface, and then here's the shader. All right, here we go. All right, you want to see this shit? All right. Let me open up window capture here. All right, look at this. So here's my shader code for the shit. Uh, you pass in these axis line bounding boxes, which come with the data offset. It's really complicated. Um, anyway, 
Uh, let's see, where does it come in? So the vertex shader. Oh god, it's been a while since I looked at this shit. This is complicated. <laughs> yeah, this is this is hard to get working. This is complicated. Um, and the fragment shader, and then a lot of code up here for. Uh, oh yeah, this is for blending the texture together. Um, and then this get collision data had to. All right, this is really complicated getting this to work. It was uh. Shit, I can't even explain it. I have a video where I explain it. It was a while, this was a couple of years ago, I guess, when I last did this shit. This was pretty complicated, honestly. Whatever. Ah, oh, so many people to just ban. That's unreal. I have a video where I explain it. Um, can I run it? Let's see, does it even run right now? I think it loads the wrong map because, or wait, maybe not, it's taking a while to open. Oh, my controller is sending random inputs. That's really annoying. Oh right, I have to use better joy for CMU or whatever. If I unplug the controller, maybe I could uh, run around here. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, it's kind of working. Let me, uh, okay, hold on. Okay, uh, I'll show it to you. Just give me a second. It does run. <laughs> That's good. It runs. Uh, okay, so. I'm not playing with a controller right now. All right, you ready for this shit? Uh, oh, whoops. Oh, this shit is like. Uh, right. So I was. I modeled the character, and I wrote the shader for the character, and I spawned all the flowers and shit. Yes, I created everything you're seeing right now. So if you run in a circle for a while, it takes a while to show up. And I'm supposed to play this with a controller, but... You can see the dirt starts to show up because you're wearing away the grass, right? Alright, so that's how the shader works. Um, if I run for a while, you'll see the shit show up. The fucking character animations, I, I was never satisfied with the shit. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I modeled her and animated her and everything. And I wrote the shader for her, and I wrote the shader for the grass, and I created everything here, and there's more, but I can't do it on a keyboard, because I never set up the keyboard controls. Um, but there's a lot going on here, like... There's a there's a whole lot here. I you know I wrote the camera code. I wrote everything for this shit. I spent months on that project, and uh, then I lost interest and just stopped working on it because I don't know. Just couldn't keep working on it. After months of working on it, I hated myself, and I didn't want to t touch it anymore. 
Yeah, I did it in Godot Engine, that's right. I wasn't happy with the character animations. I did a lot of work though, like uh, her like cardigan, you know, I, I set up all these like special bones in the cardigan so that they had like these automatic things where if like the leg moved forward then the cardigan like moved over. It wasn't using physics simulation for the cloth, but it was a... Uh... It's a lot of fucking work. and. It... And ultimately, I'm not very happy with it, but at least it was a learning experience or something. I don't know. So I went, yeah, I went hard in Blender and hard in Godot Engine to make that, but uh, I wish I could show you some of the other stuff. I'd have to get the controller working and it's just too much of a pain. The Switch, the Switch controller. It's like, if you have it in Steam, then it, whatever, I just, it's, I don't know. Making a game with a Switch controller is annoying. Might as well have like a fucking Xbox One controller or something, I don't know. Yeah, no, it's sad, like, it's really sad, I, I am kind of gifted, or like, I'm kind of talented, but like I throw everything away. Um, it's sad. <laughs> Would using pre made cloth physics be easier? Not in Godot Engine. Maybe for like Unreal Engine. Probably has better like built in like cloth simulation tools. I've seen something before in Unreal with nice cloth simulation, but uh, Godot Engine's cloth simulation seemed like complete shit to me. So I just did like this, uh, I set up these um, bones, they're called bones, with, uh, you know, they represent like parts of the mesh that, and like they have, rules where like if the leg moves forward then the cloth moves forward and if the you know and it makes it so it bends and stuff and it worked it did work it just doesn't look uh as awesome as like a true cloth simulation but yeah unreal engine probably does cloth simulation way better story for the game. There was no, there's no like, uh, it's pretty undirected, honestly. Yeah, it was like attached to the leg movement. It made it a little stiff and unrealistic, but that's okay. A GitHub link for the game? Sure, I do have that. It's open source, right? Um, it was this project. There you go. I had some ideas written down, but I just, fuck it. <laughs> I just didn't want to keep going. Uh, yeah, so if you click, where is it? So that shader code was, where was it? It might be un under levels. River bridges. Uh, <laughs> where is it? Where is that shader code? Uh, Shit, I don't even know where it is. Like, I don't know where the file is for it. That's fine, whatever. 
Oh, if you want to see some other interesting code I wrote, though, if you go to uh, camera, camera.gd, right? Uh, I had a lot of fun doing camera programming. I think I'm pretty good at it. Um, like, okay, like, I'm not totally satisfied with the way I have the code set up, but... But the camera, um, it's fun to program a camera, right? Fun, I think, to program a camera. <sighs> yeah, I, uh, there's someone named Umeti who I could see myself collaborating with on a game project potentially, because we're both pretty skilled, I think. And, um, if only there was like an idea that could be ran with, right? Then I think there could be a collaborative project there maybe. I just, uh, I'm kind of in this rut creatively, in a creative rut. <laughs> it's just like, Have I seen the shareware style games that are making bank? Yeah, see, no, I know, I, I get it, I, I understand. I just, uh, yeah, I don't have a Discord right now. I have an idea problem, I think, a problem with ideas. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't see what I need to be doing. I know, like, I'm multifaceted, talented in many different directions, and yet, I feel like there's nothing I want to do except, <laughs> except get into a relationship. And I'm, like, creatively empty right now, and I'm, I don't have fun with anything. It's kind of sad, really. Like... I am talented in many different ways, and I don't use it because I don't see what to do. It's sad. We were brainstorming the other day. What's not very believable? It's it's really sad. Like I would rather pick up my Twitch channel and destroy it rather than like make an effort. It's sad. It's really sad, honestly. <laughs> like... <sighs> I'm like a wasted talent. That's my life. I'm just a waste. I just throw everything away and I just waste my talent. I don't know. Don't know what to do. Does speedrunning in any form give me any pleasure? Not at the moment. Not really. You say I'm organized with the programming, but um, actually keeping keeping everything organized is really hard. When a project gets bigger, like actually 
actually having it like all ar architected correctly is I think actually really hard. Have I used Unity in the past? I have used Unity a bit to make VRChat worlds. I made some VRChat worlds. And uh... Uh, that's all I did with Unity. Yeah. Yeah, software architecture. Yeah, that is actually really hard. It's hard. Uh, I did make an effort with this project and I did work on it like a lot, uh, but I ultimately abandoned it because I hated my life after a few months of working on it nonstop. I was like trying to work on it every day for a while and then I just hated my life, so. Yeah, when people talk about shader pipelines, I feel a bit jealous because I feel like Godot, the way Godot handles rendering is like, it feels kind of more limited, but maybe Godot 4 has more options. The burnout was really real and it sucks like committing so much to a project like that and then uh, getting like doing all this stuff. I'm just a burnout in general, honestly. I'm just a burnout. I also don't know how to have fun, really. I just like to stream. Um, fear and hunger. Oh, nice, nice fucking camera. Yeah, this thing is uh, memory leaking again. I, uh, let's see. Let me try uh, changing the setting here. Okay. Uh-oh, what happened? <laughs> this is like, it's like broken, the fuck? My camera is a broken piece of shit. 